子供たちが戦争で傷つけられるのに私は絶対に許せない三省騎士団団長ヘルム参上いたしました Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be doing Act 2, Chapter 16. And this map is called The Returning Light. <laughs> Chapter 2 is 16th Act. They've completely changed it, but whatever. Act 2, Chapter 16. Queen Rosenseal, the four generals are ready and awaiting your orders. Edge Lord returns! <laughs> Finally, the show begins. By the way, must you insist on following me? I don't like working with women. It leads to certain misunderstandings. General M. Stell of the Soul Crystal Iron Guard, you will lead the right flank. Would be my honor, Your Majesty. Kind of disappointed that there's no voice acting again. <laughs> like I'm sure they have it voice acted on the Chinese server or whatever, but clearly they haven't brought the voice acting over to us. Magical museum exhibits. Okay, Grenier. Very slow moving strike. Akira Merunda. So are those so called wind blades. Regenberg Army, Helena's Ironwall Knights.
Yes, cause you know, they've been here for 150 years. And they don't provide an answer. Alright, so let's take a look around on this map. First of all, the feats here is defeat 6 enemies from 3 turns, so push them aggressively. And your victory condition is defeat all enemies except for Helena. So if one of your units is defeated or Helena is defeated, you instantly lose. Wow, you can't even have one of your units defeated. Okay. Um, nope. Treasure is right here, next to this cavalry, so near the bottom right side. And... I think that covers everything, doesn't it? So I'm going to bring Leden on my left with Divine Guard and Righteous Duel, I suppose. I'll have Tiaris with Attack Blessing, Miracle and Heal. Luna with her Move Again, Wind God Realm and Raging Thunder. And Liana bringing Act Again, Gospel and Summon Sky Archer. So Matthew is also here with Air Slash, Attack Command and uh, Sky Arms of Light. Because he's an allied character, his faction buff affects everybody. So that's a nice bonus. So, not much to say. Let's just begin. And let's just skip that and get started right away. So I'm going to be very, very aggressive here. And let's start with Luna. Mm, I'm just wondering. Actually, let's start with Granny are doing a power stab on this infantry general. To weaken it. And then I'll have Luna Wind God Realm Fold. Let's put on the Danger Zone as well to know where exactly I can place my so, Luna will crush this Inhitri General. And. Do I back off? Is the question. Let's not. So, so I am going to have Liana act again for me. And then Grenier can. Probably activate this card still. On this side, let's have Ledin start with Righteous Duel. Pulling this Lancer General to him. I'm going to use Oldius, moving him up a bit. I'm going to have. Matthew charge forward and activate his faction buff. And finally, I might as well just miracle up. So let's see how this goes. So, Edin crushes cavalry general. 
he's gonna crush this whole flank except for maybe the flyer right away. Oh, interesting. Good so far. Now they all get buffed. Okay, so what I want to do here. Is to crush the remaining enemies that I'm facing. So, to do so, I'm going to try the following. So, let's have Sage of the Trees wipe out the Steel Wing Vanguard to start. Then, Lenin can move here. Tiaris can move here. And then... So, Lenin first. Then I'm gonna move Tiaris to heal up my Lenin. And then I'm going to move... Matthew. To Air Slash. This Lancer General. So with that, the remaining enemies should go after Matthew, right? because cavalry against infantry. And so in the meantime, I can safely have Yena drop her summon Sky Archer to grab the treasure. And the treasure is 120,000 gold, which I actually really needed. So why don't I flip Luna over here to attack the other Lancer General and buff up Legend of it. And with this... Legend takes the hit from Helena and heals up. Lenin takes the hit from the Cavalry General, and you should crush it. And then Lenin should take a hit from this Steelwing Warrior, and kill it off as well. And so in two turns, the battle is cleared. There we go. Finally, it's complete. The weather control station has been restarted using the power of Langrisser. This power is... Huh? This? Could it be? The fog in the sky, it's disappeared? This is great. The ritual is complete. Everyone, let's break out of this siege. The century-old shadow over Regenberg, which has caused immeasurable suffering to its people. The fog, it's gone. Ironwall Knights, listen up. All units, hold your attack. Finally, I can catch my breath. General Helena, you're not going to fight us? Over the years, many exceptional people have attempted to solve the mystery of the fog in the sky, but none have succeeded. You have relieved the Regenberg Empire of something that has tortured it for over a hundred years. It seems that I misunderstood you. Are you really just reinforcement troops of Kakonsis? Who are you, really? Actually, we're the Swordsmith Legion from the continent of Alsalia. We simply borrowed the power of Langrissa to return the ancient weather center to how it was intended to function. And we went through a lot of trouble to do it. Jeez, why does everything Grenier says sound so offhanded? Besides, Matthew ought to be the one doing the speaking right now. The power.
power of the legendary sword Langrisser, the Swordsmith Legion? Alright, I'll remember this name. Although the Empire is currently at war with Kekunsis, please allow me to thank you on behalf of Regenberg. We are also very grateful for your understanding, General Helena, since you now know that we are acting in the interests of the people of the land. Could we ask you to persuade the Queen to terminate the invasion of Kekunsis? I understand your concern, but I'm afraid that I do not have the power to alter the current situation. When it comes to war, nothing is more painful. Even as a soldier, I cannot so plainly accept the reality of it all. But at least now I know that you do not harbor... Mal intent? <laughs> okay? Towards Regenberg, I would never stand in the way of actions that are truly for the benefit of the whole continent. Miss Helena really is quite admirable. If we weren't enemies, I bet we really get along. We, I bet we get along really well, right? Yeah, if only the war could end sooner. Whether for ye less or for the entire world, peace is something we all hope for. If we do get such an opportunity, it would please me greatly to have a deeper conversation with you all. But as a general of the Empire, I am bound by my many orders. I'm afraid that such a prospect would be difficult to make reality. Difficult, yes, but not impossible. Honestly, you must hate this war too, which is why you're avoiding going to the front line, correct? People fight to defend their beliefs, but in this drawn-out war, what they have forgotten is that the greatest mistake is war itself. Your words hold truth. Although I do not know much about you, I will remember what you said. Miss Helena, if possible, please share with us any information you may have about the Empire. Well, since you are the wielders of the Holy Sword Langrisser, and you are indeed fighting for the good of the continent of Yilas, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to share certain information with you. If you could help us, that would be amazing. Ooh, a lot of words about nothing. <laughs> but there we go. Defeat six enemies within three turns. Got the treasure. Finish the map. Onwards to the next battle, or not? <laughs> Queen Rothenseal has chosen to lead this battle personally. She is leading the entire Regenberg army, with the exception of me, to Kakotsis. Such a massive assault? They've already captured Princess Melpani! Does the Empire really not intend to let Kakonsis go? Princess Melpani is probably still under house arrest in the palace. I imagine that, given the princess's exceptional cleverness, Her Majesty the Queen wouldn't dare let her come to harm. Ah, I just remembered something that occurred before the battle. Two unidentified individuals forced their way to the palace and met with Her Majesty the Queen. The leader was wearing a mask. And the other, an unusual girl named Shalinka, who was working with Vincent of the Emerald Wing Knights. Wait, the one in the mask? Was it Rainforce? Shalinka? And they were with Vincent? You know them? Those two didn't seem like ordinary people. Where are they from? It's a long story. They are enemies from the Red Moon, Crimson, who came carrying the Sword of Darkness, Al Hazard. For putting aside our grudges against them. Helena, do you remember the demons we fought in the Crystal Wilderness? Those demons were summoned by those two. There's no doubt about it. What? You mean the ones who broke into the Queen's Palace are aligned with the Red Moon and the demons? If that's true, then... This is bad news. I must return to Regenberg Castle immediately. General Helena? Huh? She certainly left in a hurry. Miss Helena doesn't seem to know who those people are. It appears the Empire is in a state of chaos as well. I feel like there's something she's not telling us about the origin of the Crimsonians. Anyways, we don't have enough time to worry about them right now. The situation in Kakonsis is dire. I may need to go immediately to support Emily and the others. Huh? You mean you're going alone? I can move more quickly on my own. Besides, my presence should be enough to allow them to hold out for a while longer. As for you all, take advantage of this order in the Empire to and go and save Princess Melpani. Perhaps Prince Oliver is there too. Hmm, this does seem to be the best plan for now. Understood. Sage of the Trees, please be careful. Yes, you too. 
Your Majesty, General Clotaire, the sky, look at the sky! What? It's the sun? And the blue sky? Yes, it's the sun, at long last. The salvation of Regenberg we have all hoped for has come at last. The sky, I almost forgot what color it was. Then, this means we don't have to fight anymore, right? We can finally go home and reunite with our families? We can plant crops again. We can begin a new life. Your Majesty, with the end of the war, the fog that covered Regenberg for 150 years has finally disappeared. The great curse over Regenberg has been lifted. Now the desolate wastelands of Regenberg can be turned into farmland once again. Your Majesty, this is great news. My Queen, at this miraculous moment, please allow me to make a somewhat bold request. Can we cancel the plan to march against Kakonsis? This gift of sunlight must be an omen of peace from the heavens. The soldiers cannot wait to put down their weapons and return to their homes. Hmm. What? Rosenseal insists on the war? The sunlight has come too late? You mean... Hmm. 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 Then your plan is to continue the offensive, but... This extraordinary sunlight is an omen of victory, Clotaire. Go forth, my brave soldiers. Go forth to Kakonsis. Alright, so there we go. Another chapter complete. Various paths to clear. And then, you know, Act 2, Chapter 17 to do. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.